So here we are at the roadside park at Canyon Falls, just getting started. It's only four degrees out today, but as promised, I'm gonna take a walk over to Canyon Falls and see what we can find. I'm just coming from the car, just along US 41 at the trailhead. We're just entering into the uh, forest trail. We've crossed the snowmobile trail and this one is starting here. We're here at the first little creek. You can see there's still open water here. I'm kind of impressed. This water must continue to move all year long. So this is the first view of the Sturgeon River that you can see. Even here, there is open water. It's looking quite lovely. Here's another view just of open water. It's a little bit of snow coming down today. This is a view of the pool just at the top of the falls. You can see how the water is swirling and perhaps there's some impediment for it going down. Mm -hmm. But this is lovely. The trail is through the forest just presents again like a Christmas card, the same as last time I was here, except that the uh, water is significantly more impeded by the ice and snow. So we're walking towards the top of the main falls. You'll see the railing shortly. Okay, here's the railing. Let's see what we can see of the falls themselves from this upper part. I haven't been here at this time of year before. Um, <laughs> you think it would be a little bit less uh, icy given that it's already almost mid-February, but it's definitely a UP looking scene. You can see no open water here. We walk along the edge here, see what we can find. Very quiet sounding. Yep, you can't see any. Oh, a little bit of water right there. Let's see if we see any other open water. Not really. Here's the crevice um, that we saw last time we were here on just a deep uh, gash in the earth. I'm going to walk us around it. <laughs> Seems a lot less scary when there's not water crashing around at the bottom. But I'll stop by this tree here so we can have a look. It is quite far down there. This is exactly the same view uh, that I shot last time I was here. And this time you can see there is absolutely no water coming down the falls. You can see, zoomed in a little closer, uh, some kind of water, kind of yellowish staining, stained snow where the water is flowing behind. I can see very little of it. But if you look carefully, I think you can see it. So for sure, the river is still flowing, but this waterfall is mostly encased in ice. Still um, uh, kind of impressive with the uh, depth of this uh, carving out of the riverbed in the rocks. Here you can see along the banks still uh, the deep crevice where the river flows. We're even a little bit further down um, along the river, maybe 50 yards further than we just were. And here you can see the swift moving water in the open channel. Here again is a picture-perfect pool 
You can see the swift moving water. And then just a little further, it's all iced over. And here's a view of the bright uh, winter sun behind the trees. And along the way, you can see moments where uh, rushing water or dripping water has formed into ice structures along the side. Here's one quite dramatic. This is normally where we see the big uh, rock that splits the stream of water in two throughout the summer and in the springtime with a lot of runoff the, the water just goes right over this big rock in the middle. Now here in the winter you can see how the water is just traversing here around the rock and into the snow there and then further down downstream. And the trail comes right along the side of it and so you can get a really good view. Although I'm a little bit nervous because you can't see the edge of the trail. Um, this uh, bank to the left of me is an overhang so I'll be very careful getting too close to it. It's interesting when you get off the regular well-beaten path and you start seeing other things. For example, here's I think deer uh, running in the very deep snow. I imagine something made it run that fast. I'm not sure it was me uh, just making noise that it's unfamiliar with or something else. Here's a view of the bottom. As you can see, there's multiple paths that the water takes around the island in the middle. And the trail getting less and less pronounced with more and more other footprints, not human. I'm really not sure what these tracks are. It's something uh, jumping a long way. I don't know what jumps like that. I just wanted to take a picture. Maybe somebody else knows what they are. I wanted to get further along this path, but it's along the hillside. And what you can't see is that the snow is about two feet deep. As I'm progressing along, my poles are uh, sinking two feet in, but if I'm a little bit to the right, I start sliding down the hill. So I'm gonna have to turn around. But I still got pretty far 